Good afternoon. It is 10 after 1 on Thursday. How is everybody doing? Anyone who happens to be watching? I'm not cooking. <laughs> I am kind of going through it today. I tell you, I'm still fighting this cold. It's driving me crazy. And now I'm actually stuffed up. Like, whatever. <clears throat> But also, my one ear is getting plugged. <laughs> so I don't know if that's part of the cold or if I have a wax buildup again. That's been an issue for, a, like, uh, really? Come on. <laughs> I have this weird mark here. <laughs> like, I'm falling, I'm falling apart, guys. <laughs> Jesus. I've been doing so good not going out and buying coffee since I got that Keurig. I'm down to one a day. So this one I bought kind of early. Usually I buy them like in the in the evening. I'll drink my coffee at home all day and then in the evening I'll go out and get a coffee from Timmy's for to sit and enjoy because I can sip it. And I don't care if it goes cold. For some reason Tim Horton's coffee tastes just as good to me cold as it does hot. My home brew stuff, mm, it's not so good when it's cold. And I'm not a big fan of nuking coffee, so. Please don't park right beside me. God damn it. Every time, every time. It doesn't matter where I park. Ooh. So. <laughs> other than that, it's been a day. I'm exhausted. I'm ready for bed. Um, not a bad day. Just a, just a go, go, go day. And I don't have the energy for go, go, go. Oh my God. So I got up this morning. I did sleep in. I slept in until about 20 after 9. I slept in an extra hour today. I went to bed early. I was in bed by 11.30. And, uh, but I kept waking up. Like, fuck, I hate that. Um, but I got up around 20 after 9. And the only reason I got up at a decent time this morning is because I had to phone the school. So we got our notices yesterday um, that schools are reopening Monday. Yay. Okay. Awesome. However, I don't know if anybody remembers or if anybody cares, but whatever. Um, before, about two days before winter break, um, Monkey had had another issue with bullying. Um, and I kind of snapped and that very night I started Googling homeschooling and what that entails and, and all that kind of stuff. I actually have a crap ton of stuff still bookmarked on my laptop for it because I haven't given up on it. <laughs> it's still a very real possibility. And I had gone into the school the next morning on like three hours sleep and with monkey and we just broke it down for the principal and it was like my because I, I do very much respect that principal he is I've known him for years he is awesome um, I think this is his second year there as principal and he really he really does have the kids best interest at heart he really and truly does he loves those kids however <laughs> I got the standard copy and paste answer of change takes time, la, 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 la. Okay, well, it's been six years. My kid has been bullied for six years straight, ever since his big brother went into high school. And it has steadily gotten worse to the point where this year he was sent to emerge with a concussion. So, youth division was called. It was a whole thing. Um, and the one kid that was involved in this last incident is a friend of the kid that we called youth division up. <laughs> so this bitch should know about it. And it was a chick. It was, it was a girl. So I told him my solution is to pull the kid out. Fuck your school board. You can't keep the kids safe. Mm-mm. <clears throat> So he's safe at home. I'll homeschool him, right? Be done with you. 
he said, well, take some time and think about it. You've got the holidays, la, la, la. And he's right. Like, I mean, I was, I was pissed. Ugh, it's cool. I respect that. No problem. And we were going to sit down, me and Monkey and his dad and his stepmom and, and have a family discussion about it, right? I was going to show them everything that I've looked up and whatever. And his dad, and I believe probably, probably his wife as well, um, had our, our feel that the online learning would be better. And Monkey had expressed that he would prefer online learning, which surprised me, but that's fine. But we haven't actually sat down and discussed it. So when I got the call from the school yesterday saying that classes were going to be back in, in, in the actual building on Monday, it was like, okay, well, we need to do something. We need to do something now. So I sat down with Monkey this morning, last night, sorry, and discussed it with him. And because it, it's, it's his life, he has to live it. It's his education. He has to do it. So... He said, yes, I, I want to do the online learning for the rest of the school year. Not forever, but for the rest of the school year. I was thinking for the rest of middle school because he's only got this year and next year. And then he's in high school. And high school is, generally speaking, a fresh slate for everybody. So, But he just wants to do the rest of this year. And I said, okay, that's fine. I will phone your principal in the morning and I will talk to him. So that's what I did. And he said, okay. He said, you need to write a letter to the school board. Um, kind of making your argument why, why this would be better for him. Blah, 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 blah. I said, okay, fine. I can do that. I said, I'm not emailing. I'm not typing up in word perfect. I'm not doing it. I suck at that shit. I said, I'm going to write you a physical letter. And... If you could email it off for me, that would be great. He said, absolutely. He is so good. He is so good. He's like, yep, yeah, I, I can do that for you. Absolutely. So he said, get it to me the sooner the better. I had that letter in his hot little hand by like 1130 this morning. Yep, I did. <laughs> Basically stating that, you know, I was writing this on my son's behalf. I expressed that he he has told us that he is fearful of going to school. He does not feel safe. He feels his person is in danger. Um, he never knows what's going to happen to him on the schoolyard. Like, you know. So, he's expressed to us a handful of times over the last two years or so. Thoughts of self-harm just to get out of this bullying. Like, I mean... And I'm sorry, but no child should be thinking that way. And I expressed that I have been working with two or three principals over the years on this, as well as youth division, and there's been little to no progress. Like, I realize change takes time, but when we're talking about the physical and mental safety of children, you need to do better. Do better. Your, your best, if this is your best, it's, it's, it's not good enough. So, you know, he just wants to do it for the rest of the year, not forever. Like I, you know, um, and I kind of ended the letter with, you know, if, if you deny my son his right to safe education, I will be forced to remove him from the public school system entirely, and I will homeschool the boy. So you will be out money. Like, the less students that are physically in a school, the school board loses money on that. Like, the, the kids are their cash cow, okay? So if you want money, if you want my son in school, in your schools, keep him safe right? You got to get firmer on these bullies. Just say it. The police need to stop with the, oh, we don't want to press charges on a minor bullshit and press charges on those fucking minors. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Don't hit my car. Jesus. So, 
I wrote that up and I had Boo Boo read it because I do tend to go off on tangents and stuff, even in writing. And he said, nope, you're good. So I took it in and I gave it to the principal and I told him, I want you to read it. He's like, oh, I can I read it? And I said, absolutely. I said, I dropped your name in it. It, it. it involves you. Fuck yeah, I read it. Don't change a goddamn word of it. But yeah, I read it. <laughs> and I gave him sort of the gist of it. I mean, he knows. He knows how I feel. He knows where I stand. I don't, I, I, I've never pulled any punches with him, so. I also took pictures of my letter so that I have a copy of it. Well, I have the rough draft because I did do drafts. And I took pictures and I sent them to his stepmom and I have it on my phone and the principal's going to keep the copy that I gave him and then email it off to uh, the school board so that everybody has a copy and everybody knows what's going on. <laughs> because see his mother, his stepmother bought him um, a Chromebook over the holidays. So he is all set for that. So. Um, it'll be a learning curve for me because you're, it, it, it's a school in and of itself online, so I don't deal with the physical school anymore. There's a, a principal and counselors and teachers and whatever the hell that are all strictly online. So, God, right beside me. Really? Really? God. Anyways, so, um, yeah. That was, that was kind of a lot this morning. So I did that and went and grabbed coffee. And I came back home and I made the boys lunch. <coughs> Monkey just got back online. So he's doing his school stuff. Jesus Christ, motherfucker, would you just get out of your car and go? <sighs> um, yeah, go. Go walk the park. Get out of here. <sighs> and, uh, yeah, so Monkey's back online doing his school stuff. I told him, I have to go hit the store. I am all out of frozen vegetables. I'm out of milk. I'm out of cereal. <laughs> and I have to go to the bank. And I said I also need to vlog. So I'm going to be a little while. So, and then Boo Boo came down and he's like, oh. I've got to get out of this house. <laughs> it's like you've been home for a day. I've been home for a week, like losing my freaking mind here. I said, yeah, I said, well, it's very mild out today. I mean, it's wet, it's gray, but it's, it's very mild. So it's a perfect day to go for a walk. If you're healthy, I ain't going for no fucking walk. I don't even want to be in this car. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be home on the couch. <laughs> So, he's going to go for a walk, and Monkey's going to finish monkey things, and, uh, <sighs> yeah, I'm exhausted. Oh, my God, I'm so tired. So, that's what's been up today. My vlog, this is going to go up for today, so it's Thursday. This is going up Thursday, um, because I didn't get out to vlog last night. I just not feeling it. Um, and it was colder yesterday, so. Um, yeah, this will go up today. It might be a little later than three because I've got running around and stuff to do and then I have to upload and all that kind of good stuff. So, bear with me. Bear with me. I may vlog later today for something to put up tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see if anything comes up worth talking about, but I'm trying not to push myself too much. I just, I feel bad that I'm not working <clears throat> and I'm not being productive around the house because I'm tired. Like I'm tired. Talking takes it out of me. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I feel like I should at least try.
try and keep my vlogs up and as long as there's something to talk, talk about. Um, you know, then I kind of feel like I'm doing something, right? So, I don't know. I, I just, I don't like feeling useless. Unproductive. So, hopefully by the weekend I'll be able to sort of putter around the house a little bit and just sort of sweep and whatever because I have little dust bunnies under my little tables and stuff and it's driving me friggin' bonkers. <laughs> it's like, I see you. I have to start naming them soon. Like, they're gonna owe me rent. Like, you know, pitch in. Hmm. <laughs> so. I even took my contacts out this morning. God, they were driving me nuts. I thought, geez, you know, I can't remember the last time I replaced my contacts. <laughs> I should probably take my contacts out and give my eyes a breather. So, which isn't helping my stuffy nose situation because anything that sits on my nose kind of hinders my breathing a little bit. But small nasal passages. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm falling apart. <laughs> Feel sorry for me. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it, really. I'm going to go do my running around and do a very simple dinner tonight. I think we'll just do burgers or something because I don't, I don't want to. Hopefully I'll get my paycheck today. I'm hoping my boss will drop it off in the mailbox or something for me. Because that would be nice. Payday was yesterday. But we'll see. We'll see. So yeah. Another real quick one today. I'm uh, going to go get done what I need done. And curl up on the couch where it's warm and cozy. And... <sighs> try and find something to watch. I've watched everything on YouTube's. I've well that I'm interested in. I've watched I flicked through the 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 Twitter. I have flicked through the Facebook. Yeah. See if you can find a movie or something. I don't know. But anywho, I'm going to jump. So anybody who happens to be watching, thank you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself and we'll talk later.